In problem four, we're looking at some uh, projectile motion here. We've got a particle whose path is modeled by negative 16x squared plus 96x plus 12. Uh, and f of x is its height in feet. And uh, it uh, moves x horizontal distance from where it started. So we want to first know what is the maximum height in feet and then what number determines that height. So the maximum height occurs uh, at the vertex here. And remember the x coordinate of the vertex is negative of b over 2a. So our a here is negative 16, our b is 96, and our c is 12. So a is equal to negative 16, and b is equal to 96. So negative b over 2a will be negative 96, and then we'll be dividing by uh, 2 times negative 16. So these two negatives will make a positive. Uh, 96 divided by 32 is equal to 3. So that's our x-coordinate of vertex. And then the y-coordinate, we'll just take that x equal 3 and plug it back in the original equation. So we'll have negative 16 times 3 squared plus 96 times 3 and then plus 12. And if you plug that in the calculator, you will get 156 feet. So y coordinate of the vertex is uh, going to give the maximum height. And then uh, which number is related to the height of which the particle started moving? Uh, so that's going to be the height at time 0. So x equals 0 will give you y equals negative 16 times 0 squared plus 96 times 0 and then plus 12. And then uh, these two terms are going to zero out. This just equals 12. So at time 0, our height is 12. So that graph is going to look something like this. It's going to start at 12 on the y-axis. It is going to go up to 156 feet, come back down, and hit the ground. That's 156, and that occurs at x equal 3. 